how do you calculate the tax computation of individual it is the easiest one but so many concepts you are supposed to remember i'll make you as simple as possible to remember all the topics as i told you other than four heads any other income if you get automatically it will go where income from other source three internals are there out of three two internals are compulsory in case of emergency if you miss any one out of three any two will be considered for your internal assessment a warm welcome to honor all this is your other sir here lecturing with yashram first grade college the temple of excellence now we are discussing the topic called income tax 2 you already completed with income tax 1 in the income tax one we'll go with all the basic concept what is assessee who is person what is assessment year what is the previous year these are the things and a basic about your house property or your salary basics all these topic we have completed in your income tax one now in income tax to little advanced one little advanced one we are going to learn in your income tax Two. So these are the course outcomes. Once you are done with completion of this particular topic, you will be good. You will be familiar with all these things. Now, the procedure for computation of income from business and profession. So usually in income tax we have five heads. So I just remind you which are those five heads. The first one, income from salary. then we'll go with income from house property then we go with income from business or profession income from capital gain income from other source these are the five heads we have in income tax 2 in this your computation of income from business and profession profession in the sense it may be lawyer it may be medical practitioner or else we can call it as doctor or ca chartered accountant these are the profession whatever income they earn how to consider whatever expenditure they do which are considered as a expenditure and what is the net income which is available for tax computation so all these things we are going to learn in this particular topics then the provisions determining the capital gain i'll explain you while going that particular topic what is capital gain income from other source we have total five heads as i told you all the four heads your salary house property capital gain business or profession other than these four which is left the remaining will come under income from other source demonstrate the computation of total income of an individual how do you calculate the tax computation of individual it is the easiest one but so many concept you are supposed to remember i'll make you as simple as possible to remember all the topics comprehend stand assessment procedure and to know the power of income tax authority everywhere wherever you go if you go to any educational institution you have a principal you have the management there is authority if you go to any hospital the dean or the head of the management will be considered as authority if you go to school the hm head master head mr these are the people are called as authority similarly in the income tax also we have a income tax authority if you fail to pay your tax on time if you are not paying uh, your income tax and if you are making any fraud or misappropriating the money all these things will be monitored by some authority that authority we call it as income tax authority we will see who are the authorities and what are their powers that will be your last topic you are going to learn so the first one profit and gain of business and profession the beauty or the advantage of this particular topic is there are few concepts are there that you are supposed to learn it takes maximum 2 hours to complete this 
concept to understand to do problem it takes time but to understand concept max to max it is 2 hours now if you give that precious 2 hours in your examination 115 marks problem must be there 110 marks problem must be there 1 2 marks theory must be there so what is the total marks weightage yes it will be 27 what is your passing 21 just spending 2 hours you can spend you can score how much 27 marks without losing even one single mark that is called profit and gain of business and profession hope you are clear yes this is all about your profit and gain of business and profession now your 21 marks is a passing but only one unit will fetch you around 27 marks just here is a format you have to remember the format there are two types of income other than salary one will be your profession one will be your business assume that you are running a gold you are a gold merchant you are running a gold shop that will be your business you are a doctor that will be your profession you are a teacher if you are working in some institution that will be salary if you are in profession doctor ca lawyer these are the called as your profession and whatever income you earn from that that will be called as income from profession in this we will learn what are the allowed and disallowed item as i told you you will get two mark question theory that will be from this topic only write any five disallowed item write any two allowed item these kind of questions will be going to ask in your examination the second topic is called as capital gain by looking at this you may assume sir what is capital gain we know what is salary we know what is house property we know what is business and profession just you taught us now what do you mean by capital gains are you using your assets like machinery furniture your vehicle yes anything which are used in business if it is sold then we consider that as capital gain hope you are clear you bought a bike not for selling purpose to using for using purpose for your professional usage after two years you felt like selling that bike you bought for some ten thousand after depreciation of the price is six thousand but you are selling at seven thousand that one thousand will be called as your capital gain the best example i'll tell you jewelry you bought jewelry for some fifty thousand and after five years you are selling same jewelry for seventy thousand what is your profit twenty thousand is your profit on this twenty thousand you are going to pay tax because this is benefit for you that we call it as capital gain any assets are bought and sold the difference value will be considered as your capital gain in case of you bought at 50,000 the market is down now gold price has become 45k it never happens actually only example I am giving so 5,000 is what loss this we call it as instead of capital gain we call it as capital loss hope you are clear we will learn in detail while doing that particular topic some sections are there 54b ec 54d 54f 54g we are going to discuss all these topics while doing that this particular topic income from other source as i told you other than four heads any other income if you get automatically it will go where income from other source like income taxable under head income from other source like types of security rules for grossing up x interest come interest these are the major thing the many students they commit or make mistakes while doing x and come interest will go in detail all the basic funders i'll give you so that for you not only now next 10 years 
you will not forget whatever concept you learned. Now, bond washing system. It is a very interesting one. We'll explain you while doing that particular topic. Then computation of income from other source. These are the things you are supposed to learn. Unit number four will go with set off and carry forward. It is very simple one. I'll give you a simple example. We'll not go to your income tax, all the concepts, just leave that. For example, you are the, your mom is what? Yes, she is a homemaker, assume. Now, if she is a homemaker, she prepared some food, chapati or rice, something she prepared for the night. So, there are five members in a family that two members did not come on that particular day. Whatever food she has prepared will be wasted. Yeah. So, what she does means the same chapati or rice, whatever they, it is there, she will keep it for next day. That is what carry forward. Carry forward. While having your morning breakfast, that chapati can be used. That rice, she can prepare some food or some new thing from that rice. That will be called as set off. Hope you are clear. Carrying the yesterday's food for tomorrow, it is carry forward. Using that for the morning breakfast, that is called as set off. Hope you are clear. It is the easiest example to understand what is set off carry forward. Now come to your income tax. Whatever the losses happened in the previous year, whatever losses happened in the previous year, that can be carried forward for the next year. Assume that last year you started your business, your loss is 30,000. Next year, your profit is 30,000. No need to pay tax on this 30,000. The reason is last year you suffered loss. Carry this loss for next year. You have a profit, set off this loss to next year, make it zero, don't pay tax. Carry forward, set off, your tax is zero. This is what carry forward and set off. Hope you are clear. Yes, good. This is what you are carry forward and set off. You have only theory in this, you don't have practical one. Assessment procedure and income tax authority. You will understand the types of assessment and also you will understand who are the income tax authorities and what are the powers of income tax authority. So skill development activity, these are the major one as I told you. If you have 40 marks for your internal assessment, it is including all your skill development, your attendance, internal assessment, internal assignment. Now, visit any character uh, chartered accountant office and identify the procedure involved in the computation of income from profession. If you have any nearby chartered accountant or CA office is there, go there, visit how they ca compute or calculate the income from profession. You have to check and you have to understand. List out the different types of capital asset. These things will discuss in the classroom. I'll guide you how to do all this. List out the steps involved in the computation of income tax from other source. Then identify due dates of filing. Draw an organized chart of income tax. Any other activity which are relevant to the course. These are the things you are supposed to learn while doing this topic. If you do all this, not only the theory aspect, you will learn the practical aspects also. So these are the marks pattern. As you know that there are three internals are there. Out of three, two internals are compulsory. In case of emergency, if you miss any one out of three, any two will be considered for your internal assessment. Usually we go with average of two. If you skip two and you have written only one, so your internal marks will be very less. And your question paper pattern, as you know that it is the same pattern for all the topics. Two marks, five question, 10 mark, two, 15 mark, two, the overall marks consideration will be 60. So minimum passing marks, as you know that 21 out of 60 is 
compulsory and uh, including your internal the overall marks should be 40 hope you are clear yes these are the books you are supposed to refer now remember these are the books if you want to go in depth if you want to understand more concept yes it is appreciated please go with all these topics usually i refer Mehrotra, that is the best for your income tax and you have to look for direct tax what is this direct tax if you go with the indirect tax book it is all about gst you don't have gst in this particular subject now so instead of this if you don't understand the textbook whatever the uh, vidyashram is providing the notes and your printed notes as well as your videos that is more than sufficient to score 60 out of 60. So I'll go back to all the previous slides so that if you want to take any screenshot or if you want to write down any important topics or syllabus, you are free to write. I'll go back to all the slides so that you can write down. Unit number one, unit two, three, four, five. These are the skill development, your books for reference. So this is all about your today's session. Hope you understood. The all the concept what I explained you, I have not done anything in this, just I introduced you what are the topics you are going to study and I gave a brief, not even brief, light idea about what is that. Please watch all the classes so that you can understand better. Always remember there are two subjects are there without a master, without a guide you cannot understand that you can read you can understand but the way you understood the concept you learned that will be completely different the two subjects are always remember one is taxation one is law for these two always follow your guide thank you